I think what we've done with uh, Harry Potter and the Escape from Gringotts is extremely exciting. In Harry Potter and the Escape from Gringotts, there's some amazing new technology. We had to come up with ways to really make this experience unlike anything that anybody has ever done before. You'll get into Gringotts, you'll come through this spectacular lobby, just like in the movies. You'll see the goblins doing their business, but uh, not all is well in Gringotts Bank. Security has been penetrated, and uh, Harry and his friends are in the bank, and uh, we are caught in the middle of that action. We can't just stand here. Who's got an idea? It's not a brilliant one. You get to see events in the film from another perspective. The ride picks the adventure up just after Harry, Ron, and Hermione and Griphook have come through the waterfall, the thief's downfall. And so you see that moment, but then you're taken off in another direction on your way to the vaults. From the very first scene you experience on the ride, where you come face to face with Bellatrix, and she sends us barreling down deeper into, into Gringo's bank, facing the security trolls. Surviving that, we end up falling down deeper into the bank towards where the dragon is. We have a you know fire being thrown at us, and we, and we eventually come face to face with Voldemort. That is going to be intense. This is going to be an amazing ride with so many different levels to it. It's, it's really it's, it's going to be quite scary because it's the first time the fans can really kind of experience the evil of Voldemort. And in 3D, I think that'll be. Quite a lot to handle. <laughs> I think after you ride Harry Potter and the Escape from Gringotts, you're gonna feel like I survived the most incredible adventure of my life. It is gonna be mind blowing. It's gonna be absolutely awesome, and um, you're gonna want to get back on it right away.